This video is presented by 1320 Street Shine, a line of professional grade car care products developed by enthusiasts for enthusiasts. For more information and to purchase your own, go to 1320streetshine.com. Hi, Trey. How's it going, man? Good. Okay. Game plan. All right. Game plan is to have it on the trailer by like two o'clock. So. And you would have gone already two hundred. So. Do you want to say the number? Do you want to say? Yeah. Okay, I'll say it. It's either gonna blow up or do it. So. I think <laughs> shakedown pass just to make sure nothing's gonna fall off the car from me working on it. You know. Okay. And then next pass, it's gonna be nine out of ten. You have the you do you have the S two thousand record right? Yeah, now? yeah, about like ten miles an hour. So what is what is the current record? One ninety nine, unofficially one ninety nine point six. I think, I think the official timer is like a one ninety eight eight. Yeah. Give me a rundown real quick. I know you've made some changes on the car. Yeah. Give me a full rundown on the S two thousand. Yeah, at? so um, so it's still F twenty two engine. Um, so the block that came in this car, um, steel rod, no dry sump, like basic engine build, with, like some decent headwork on it. Quave sequential gearbox, Motec ECU and dash. Um, Still on ethanol, single in tank pump, injector on MX injectors. Um, before it was on a 67, 68 millimeter zona rotor, uh, 95, 69 turbo. And that turbo is great, but I got to talk, talking to a buddy of mine, Mark, that owns Real Street Performance, and he was talking about this Precision 6785. It's a like class legal turbo for the class that are running World Cup Finals, True Street. Okay. But it makes about 10 more pounds of boost than my old zona rotor did. Gotcha. It should be about 12, 1250 wheel right now. Okay. And it's it, the, the good news. Or the even better news is like so the 1050 it kind of started to fall off around 8500 or 9 and this thing is making way more power up top so it's like 250 maybe 300 more on like 9 to 10,000 rpm what do you rev it to 10,000 oh geez yeah <laughs> geez yeah so it's either going to break or it's, it's going to go 200 that is the only option if i'm going to call it if it doesn't blow up i think it's going to go 205 206 okay I guess it's kind of an asterisk record, but it'd be cool to me. So the fastest officially any S2000 has ever been in any distance is 203. Really? So there's a the fastest quarter mile S2000 in the world has been 203 in the quarter. It's obviously a gutted full race right, car right, right. deal. But if I go over 203, it's officially the, the fastest, fastest S2000, S2000 in existence. <laughs> really? Cool. Well, man, I love seeing the car out. You bring it to half miles, and that's like the only time I get to see it run, yeah. and it's freaking awesome. Appreciate I love it. it. So good luck today. Appreciate Hopefully it. we see 200 plus. And yeah, it still drives on the trail at the end of the day. It's either going to be celebrations or smoke. So you'll, it's a very easy call to make. Gotcha, gotcha. Good luck, man. Or go 200. It I said one neither of those things. One shakedown pass. Next pass is going to be turned up. So it's. It started. I've never run the half mile on these drag radials before, and it started walking around in fifth and sixth a little bit. So I put max wing angle in it. Well, all right, next time. Yeah. Next okay. time it'll be full power. Okay. <laughs> Stewart has had endless passes on this car trying to reach 200. He's got the power for it this event. Let's see if he can do it right now. Oh my 
Unfortunately, the uh, airport white stripes do not provide traction, and he just had too much power on that on that right, or too much traction on the right tire, not enough on the left. Spun him out. Yeah. Looks like he drove out of the grass. Yeah, he's, oh. he's out of the grass. Whew. Thank God, that was scary. How was that? It really wasn't that scary. Was it? It looked a lot scarier. Everyone else is throwing up. I'm not your time. It started to spin. I was like, well, that's not going to correct. It looked too scary for him, but for you guys. My, uh, my only thing was when it hit the grass, I was like, oh, I don't know how this is going to do it. And it started sliding, so I was like, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Now I just got to fix it and put my other tires on and go through my <laughs> <laughs> I need to look at the drag. He was on a good pass before unfazed. then. Unfazed. 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 Was it? You, did you hit the white stripe? Is that what did it or what? No, it was pretty much skating the whole time. Okay. And the run before, like, it skated in fifth, and then when I got into sixth, it just kind of settled down. So I, it was doing the same thing in fifth, and I just hit six, and it didn't settle down in six. So then it was like, ah. Oh. Hopefully, I can still keep running. We'll see. All right. Get over there. The, the dream for 200 is not dead today. Nah. All right. Take more than that. <laughs> Tires changed out. Yeah. We doing 200 this time? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a couple shakedown passes, make sure there's nothing weird going on with the car. I drove around the pits and it feels fine, like the wheels off center, but it's not pulling or anything weird. So. All right, that, that, that's probably a safe safe thing yeah, to I'm do. Do a few shakedown passes before we go back hard again. All <laughs> right, good luck, man. <laughs> first and I guess the boost maybe didn't fall off as far as I thought it did so it's still in power and I got back into it and it just acted like it never recovered second and third and then once I got it in I fourth it was pretty fine. I tell you but, soon, like I saw that I thought you get all swirly then at yeah. one point you just got in and you stood at 180. Yeah. Which is impressive considering yeah. how much like it seemed like half the track you're right. all over the place. Yeah. So, so are we gonna do one more pass today? Were you just gonna yeah, say no yeah. okay cool <laughs> that the LSD that I put in here after the last half mile I ran is not ideal for the low traction stuff. Okay. And it, it acts a lot like a locker. And so I think, like, when I'm driving it, it feels like it starts to spin. It really tries to follow the way the car's moving. Okay. And so it's, like, it's really hard to catch the rotation right. And it's never done that, like, in any of the half mile so stuff I've done. So you need some slippage. So I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put the stock Nissan diff back in it. Okay. Which is a VLSD that won't lock up like that. Is that a 300 ZX? Yeah. Okay. So this one's a a clutch type, but it's like it's a really really tight one, and I think it's literally just locking up and kind of really causing the ass end to get swirly. Gotcha. So I'm gonna put the VLSD one back in. I think it's gonna fix it.
200. Yeah. He hit it. 200 point six two. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Two hundred point six two. All right, that works. Yeah. Hell yeah. Years. Only like a year. Only like a Only year. Like a year. <laughs> Congrats, Stuart. Thank you. Hell yeah. Thank you for that. Oh, yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. What's up, Stuart? Hi. How's it going? So we got the exact mile, same mile an hour in the half mile, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did you oh, ride? Wait, wait. 200.62? I went 204.9, sir. Oh, you did another one? Yep. I missed it. <laughs> no freaking way. Yeah. <laughs> it was 206 on Draggy, but... No way. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. Damn. Yeah, 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 you have a lot of power in that car. Yeah. It's not able to put it all down. No. No. Damn. But you can, so you should drag my ass. I can't turn it up any further. It's all yeah, the way up. Yeah, still way quicker than me. We, should, we probably need someone to ride though. That's gonna be the tricky part. Unless you want to do, how do you want to start it? Um, is there a marker? Let's see. Um, we could. What about Fred? Stu and I are gonna do a roll race. What? How do you think we should start it? He doesn't want to have anybody in his car. For safety, not. Safety. Yeah. No, no. no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's gone straight the entire weekend, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the second half of the weekend. <laughs> Could you get them to like why don't we why don't we just ask them if we could put a cone right, right. out in the track? Oh, yeah. You're 1320, dude. Like, oh yeah, they do it. You they got power. I can, I, can, I can probably do maybe 65. Sure. I know I, I know I can do 65. I'll just 60, okay? I'll just pace you because my speedometer doesn't work half the time. Okay. So I'll just Perfect. get up to you and then I'll just pace you and we hit so the you, cone. You we go. want me to do left lane? Sure. Perfect. Yeah, and I'll um, just stay with you and then we hit the cone. We'll go. It broke. <laughs> Something pretty good too. Well, I think it broke a rod. Really? Block's done. Yeah, it's got a big hole in the block. <laughs> oh damn. Yeah, it's got a big hole in the side of the block. So. <laughs> well, you said that you were gonna go 200 or break it. I guess not both. <laughs> but you still hit I your broke 200. It after. Yeah. And I'd much rather break it at 65 than at 205. Oh yeah. <laughs> a lot safer for you and the car. Yep. But I got engine diaper caught it all, so we're good. Good responsible racer. Thank you, Stuart, for not ruining the racing surface. Good weekend. <laughs> hey, Stuart. You're kind of an overachiever, right? Yeah. Look, you set goals and you go for them. And you literally destroyed them. You destroyed every goal. Yeah. You destroyed blowing it up. You destroyed the 200. Did you go 204? Yeah, I went 204.9 on their timing and 206.1 on Draggy. Really? And my Draggy stuff's been like within a tenth of a mile an hour all weekend, so I'm going to claim 206. I heard you put a nice little window in the block. It's a wee size hole. It's a wee size hole. Gotcha. So not that bad. Still need a new block. Well, I, you know, I'm going to run it at World Cup Finals, and since I'm leaning on the car, I mean, that was probably 1250, almost 1300 wheel, right. and we're still on steel rods that have been in here for almost two years, Okay. and so I, I've already been toying with the idea of putting aluminum rods in it for World Cup Finals. Pretty happy with it, and I mean, that's part of, that's part of developing the engine program is finding at what point stuff fails. Yeah. So, I'm not mad about it. Well, it was <laughs> great seeing you, man. Too. Congrats. Thank you. The world record holder, Yep. and now maybe we'll see a bigger build out of the car for oh, World definitely. Cup. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah, man. We'll see you. We'll see you then, man. See you.